Good morning, boys and girls. Today we are on ten point seven. Problem solving. How can a graph help us to solve problems? We are going to look into it today. On page six one one, a boy named Brad sees many animals at the park. How can you find how many animals Brad sees? Actually, we can use a graph to help us to solve the problem. First, we can ask, "What do I need to find?" Yes, we need to know how many animals Brad sees. So we will trace the word "animals" here. The second question is. What information do I need to use? Well, we need to use the number of rabbits. Birds and deer in the picture. Now, I will show you how to make a bar graph. Watch me. First, I can count how many of one kind of animal. Then I can color in a bar to show that number next to the animal's picture. I can do the same to the other two animals. Let's look at the picture. There are one, two, three rabbits in the park. I will color three buses on the graph. One, two, three. Next, I will count the birds. One, two, three, four, five. Six. There are six birds in the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last, I will count the deers. One, two. There are two deers in the park. One, two. Remember our question: How does the bar graph help us to solve the problem? In the bar graph. I can see how many of each animal there are, so I just have to add those numbers together to find how many animals Brad sees. So there are three rabbits, six birds, and two deers. Three plus six plus two is equal to eleven. All right, let's try another problem. Page six one two. Make a graph to solve. Before you read the word problem, try keep these two questions in mind. What do I need to find? What information do I need to use? Now let's read the word problem. Number one. Jake has four more train cars than Ed. Ed has three train cars. I'm going to put that information about Ed on the graph first, and I will underline the sentence to make sure I solve this part of the problem. So I will find Ed. And then color three boxes. One, two, three, to show that 
Ed has three train cars. Let's keep reading. Ben has two fewer train cars than Ed. I will come backward to show fewer numbers of train cars. One, two. That means one. Ben has two fewer train cars than Ed. I underline the sentence to show that I solved this part of the word problem. Wait, now I can go back to try to figure out how many train cars Jake has. Jake has four more train cars than Ed. So I will count forward to show a greater number. First, I will draw the same number of train cars. Then I will have four more buses. One, two, three, four. Finally, how many train cars does Jake have? I can read the graph. Find Jake and point to the end of the bar and look down to find the number, which is seven. And the answer is seven. Question number two. Mala has eight dolls. Should I call her eight buses now? Of course not. Let's keep reading. Three dolls have blue eyes. I will call her three buses then. One, two, Three. The rest have brown. Wait, I know Marla has eight dolls, so I will color five more buses to make eight. One, two, three, four, five. How do I know that I have eight buses to show the total number of dolls? Well, I can count the buses or I can add three plus five is equal to eight. So the answer is five. Five dolls have brown eyes, and three dolls have blue eyes. Mala has eight dolls. Whoa! Good job, boys and girls. Let's turn to. The next page six one three. We have share and show. You will make connections of what you know about bar graph and tally chart to make your own graphs. Make connections. Find out about the eye color of your classmates. Number three. Write a question you can ask your friends. Hmm. Since we are looking into eye colors, you can ask. What colors are your eyes? Question number four. You will ask ten friends your question and make a tally chart. First, you need to write the title. You could say, "Types of eye colors in our class."
Then you can write down different eye colors. Remember, you just need to ask ten friends. Say you find out five of your friends have black eyes. You will draw five tally marks on the chart, and then you write the number five. You write black, then you draw the tally marks five. Then you write the number five. Next, you can put, say, brown. And then you will ask more friends and see how many of your friends have brown eyes. You will write the number here and draw the tiny marks here. But remember, the total number of friends you ask will not be greater than 10. All right? Okay, after you finish the graph, um, I'm sorry, after you finish the tally chart, you can move on to question number five. Use the tally chart to make a bar graph. First, you need to label the bar graph on the side. You can write eye color. At the bottom of the graph, you can write number of friends on the line. You also need to write the title for the bar graph, label the buses. If you have five for black eyes, you are going to color five boxes. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to color them. All right. This is how you transfer the information from the bar, uh, from the tally chart to the bar graph. All right. You will finish the rest when after. You finish number four and number five. You are going to answer the the question for number six. What did you learn from the graph? Once you finish this page, you can turn to page six one four. On your own, what is your favorite fruit? Nina asked twenty children this question. Then she made a bar graph. Vanina spilled paint on the graph. Question seven: How many children chose grapes? You are going to look for grapes. Go to the top of the bar graph. Look to find the number, and then write the number here. Number eight: How many children chose bananas? So you are going to look for the yellow bar. And then go to the top. Uh oh, you can't see it because Nina spilled paint on the graph. I can give you some clues about this question. I know three people chose apples, and nine children chose grapes, and I don't know how many people chose bananas. But I do note that Nina asked twenty children in all. Now you can figure out the missing number here, and then put the number here, and this is the answer. So I will leave number nine for you to answer. Once you finish this page, you can turn to another ah、uh, the next page. And finish the homework on page six one five and six one six. 
I hope you enjoy using graphs to record information you've got from your friends. That's all for today. Have fun. Bye.